Here we're gonna look at a nice and quick geometry problem. Okay, so here's the setup. So we've got this large square of side length one, and inside this large square, we have a small square with side length 2r and two circles with radius r, and those are diagonally oriented. And in fact, they're oriented so that the diagonal of this large square coincides with the diagonal of this small square and then two diameters of each of these circles. And our goal is to find R. So if you guys want to think about this for a little bit, it'd be a good time to pause the video and give this a go. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into the solution. Okay, so what I want to do is measure the side length two different ways. So the first way I'm going to measure the side length is just by noticing that it's length one that is given to us. And the other way is by measuring across this small square and then across a triangle that I have built from this, these two circles. So let's go ahead and do that. So the triangle that I want to build from these circles goes like this. So it's going to have hypotenuse formed by the diameter of this kind of central circle and then a radius of this top right circle. And then it's going to have a base, which is parallel to the side of the larger square. And there's our altitude right there, our height. Great. So this is a right triangle. And then furthermore, because we know that the diagonal of the large square coincides with all of the things that we talked about, we know the angle measure of this angle is 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians. Great. And so now we can measure the length of this side. Notice that we could call that x if we wanted to. And then we've got another radius up here, r. And now we can measure the length of this side of the large square a new way. So that's going to give us this equation 2r plus r plus x equals 1. So let's see that, 2r plus r plus x equals 1. Great, now we just have to calculate x in terms of r. But that shouldn't be too bad because we've got some trigonometry that we can use. Notice that the radius of, sorry, the hypotenuse of this triangle is 3 times r. We get a diameter from this circle and then a radius from that circle. So using the fact that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's going to tell us that the cosine of pi over 4 is equal to x over 3r. But let's recall that cosine pi over 4 is uh, root 2 over 2 or 1 over root 2. And so that means we have x equals 3 times the square root of 2 over 2 times r. So we've got that. Great. Now we can plug that into this equation. We've got a linear equation that we can solve for x, sorry, for r. So notice we're going to have 3r plus 3r root 2 over 2 equals 1. Let's maybe uh, factor out a greatest common factor and let's see what we get. We can factor a 3r out of this and that's going to give us 1 plus the square root of 2 over 2 equals 1. Now maybe we can multiply both sides of this equation by 2 in order to clear the fractions. That's going to give us 3r and then 2 plus root 2 on the left hand side and then we'll have 2 on the right hand side. So again multiplying this by 2 clears that fraction, turns this 1 into a 2 and this 1 into a 2. Now let's see what we can do. Now we can divide by 3 times 2 plus root 2 so that's going to give us r equals 2 over 3 and then 2 plus root 2. And then if we want to, we can go ahead and rationalize the denominator here to make it look a little nicer. So maybe multiply by 2 minus root 2 over 2 minus root 2. So let's see what that gives us. That's going to give us 2 times 2 minus root 2 over 3 times. So we'll have a difference of squares. So it's going to end up being 4 minus 2, which is 2. 
So we've got three times two in the denominator. Those two can, twos can obviously cancel, and we're left with two minus root two over three. So in other words, the value of r, which will make this inscription of two circles and one square along the diagonal, will be two minus root two over three. So we have our final answer is one third times two minus root two. And that's a good place to stop.